taking a piece of paper, we're going to fold over the corner to create a triangle shape with the long side of the triangle, the folded edge. Next, I'm going to take a pencil and draw along the edges of these lines of my triangle. And when I unfold it, I should have a lovely square, which I'm going to cut out with my scissors. Now you can make yours any um, size you'd like to. I'm trying to make a really big one, but you might like to make a little small one. Once you've cut this edge, you then want to fold it in half again and create another set of triangles just to check that this is a nice and even square. All of the edges should meet up. And when you unfold it, you should now have almost like a diamond, just like this one. Now I'm going to draw a spiral with a pencil from the centre to the outside lines of my box. I'm going to create a rainbow spiral pattern, but you can do any pattern that you'd like. I'm using some neon um, poster paint here, but you can use highlighter pens to get the same effect. I'm starting with the lightest colour, which will be my yellow, moving on to a bright orange and sort of fading them in between using a little flick of my brush, turning the paper each time I need to as the circle gets bigger, from the inside of my paper, very the very center, to the outside. So next up is pink, and then purple, followed by blue, And lastly green before I start again back at yellow I'm going to repeat this all the way until I get to the very edge of my circle at uh, my my spiral which is at the edge of my square to complete my spiral rainbow pattern I'm gonna go extra fast now just to show you you don't have to be particularly neat I'm using a really thick brush to make the most of my spiral going super fast now. Whilst that's drying, I'm going to take two lollipop sticks, a good excuse to eat an ice cream or two, and I'm going to glue them or sellotape them together. I'm going to cut out a, a cardboard circle from a cereal box, and I'm going to glue it onto the top like this. I'm then going to cut out another circle from the cardboard cereal box, and I'm going to place that to the side. Now once the front of my pinwheel is dry, I'm going to actually paint the back, just because you will see it when we fold it. Um, and I like to think that this just makes it look a little bit more fancy. So I'm going to start and create an ombre effect with a nice deep purple in the centre and add white paint and brush it out in a circular pattern all the way out to the outside edges to create the ombre. So I decided to do some black lines um, in the negative spiral, um, which I did with permanent marker, just to make it look fancy. 
Now what I'm doing is from the very center along those folded edges that run to the outside corners of my square, I'm measuring about six centimeters. Depending on how big yours is, you can make this measurement a little bit different. But I am going to cut along my folded diagonal lines that run from the corner into the center of my um, square. I'm cutting to about, I'm cutting two thirds of the line. So I'm keeping a little bit just before I get to the center. And like I said, I measured six centimeters running from that middle point up my diagonal corner lines. I'm cutting with some sharp scissors and I'm making sure to follow that diagonal line as much as I can to keep the lines as straight as possible. And this will give you the best looking pinwheel in the end. Once you've cut all your lines, they'll look like this. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to fold every second corner into the center. So you see I skip one and then I fold that one in. I want to keep these folds curved so I'm not folding and pushing the edges down. I'm trying to keep them folded over and that's going to help you catch the wind when your pinwheel is formed. So when it's all folded in, it will look like that. Now take your second cardboard circle and thread it through your thumbtack. You're going to pierce through the corners of every second corner of your pinwheel, just like I demonstrated to you without uh, the, the pin earlier. You want to make sure you leave a little bit of a space. Don't push the pin in too close to the edge of the paper because it might tear. And then you're going to push the thumbtack once you've put all of the corners, second corners of your pinwheel in through the very center of your um, square paper or your pinwheel. And then getting someone to help you if you need, you're gonna press the thumbtack onto the very center of the circle that's stuck to your lollipop sticks. And the lollipop sticks become the handle. Now you wanna push it through, give it a little bit of force, watch your fingers because the, the, the thumbtack will be quite sharp but you wanna push it all the way through until the end of the thumbtack pushes out through the, pop, uh, the lollipop sticks. And there you have it. There's your pinwheel. Now, I'm making this as a gift for someone special. So what I thought would be lovely is if you thought of some nice words to describe the person that you were giving it to. You can use colorful markers like I am, and you can draw on or write on your descriptive words, and you can do as many as you like. So I thought of 20 words that I could describe someone I love who I'm giving this to as a present. I thought about the memories that we shared together and the things that we like to do or the things that I think that she's really good at. I wrote these down in some nice clear handwriting. And it really made me think about how much I appreciate my mum. Once I was finished with my pinwheel, it looked something like this. I was really, really happy with how it turned out. And I was so pleased that I could give this to someone that I love. So there you have it, there's my pinwheel. I stuck it out in the garden in the sunshine so you could see. It wasn't very windy, so unfortunately it wasn't spinning, but it will spin. Now, when you give this to someone, make sure you tell them how much you appreciate them and why you're giving them this gift. I hope you love this craft. I'll see you next week. Bye.